Well, Fort Wilkins at Copper Harbor was quite busy today, and that's because many people came out to get a glimpse of what life was like during the Civil War. TV6's Jennifer Perez was there, and she has more. You've just stepped into the late 1800 during the Civil War era. Men are dressed in wool uniforms, women are in full length dresses, all walking around Fort Wilkins. Imagine what life was like at that time. Well, that's the purpose of the 27th annual Battery D Civil War encampment. It brings you back to a simpler time and brings history to life for people. It really, I think, gives children and, out, and adults an opportunity to learn and, and outside of the classroom setting, hands-on is the best way to people to learn. More than 30 members dressed up and played their part throughout the weekend. The feet walking on the boardwalk and the conversations uh, last night as they're sitting in front of the barracks playing uh, cribbage. Um, for all the world, it was 1866 or 1868. and. Uh, just a just a wonderful time at the fort soldiers would sleep on cots on the battlefield in tents or just on the ground it sounds like war as a cannon goes off in a demonstration that drew a crowd of people to let people know how the guns were used how they work uh, the uniforms the equipment the commands hopefully it's the whole package Fort doctors showed us how they would assess a soldier's wound and how they would use chloroform and ether as an anesthesia to perform amputations. If you didn't get a chance to stop by, they'll be at the Iron Industry Museum in Nagani next weekend. Jennifer Perez, TV6 News, Copper Harbor.